I've been emphasizing this point for quite some time now. The path that women seem to be heading down might ultimately backfire on them. Why? Well, because men won't have any reservations about forming intimate connections with AI companions that look and feel just like real people. However, women might struggle more in this department because they inherently seek emotional connections, and the absence of genuine emotions from AI partners could prove to be a significant hurdle. An AI future. Picture this scenario. An AI girlfriend for an average guy. He's not interested in dealing with the drama and emotional roller coaster that often accompanies modern relationships. Instead, he desires a beautiful companion who understands, respects, and accepts him, regardless of his possessions or financial status. Moreover, this AI girlfriend can cater to his physical needs as well. And when I say AI girlfriend, I'm not referring to a mere online avatar. I mean a humanoid robot girlfriend that's virtually indistinguishable from a real human. This could be a game changer for men, but it might pose challenges for women who can't quite compete with this level of AI companionship. In reality, this development has some positive aspects. Both men and women could use AI companions to reduce stress and frustration, potentially leading to less demanding personal relationships. Physical relationships could then focus on more substantial aspects, like family commitments, rather than solely fulfilling emotional needs. Additionally, some might use AI companions for productive practice in handling relationship interactions and arguments, allowing them to assess the reasonableness of their physical partner's reactions. So, AI personality interaction in the future isn't entirely negative. However, my personal prediction is that men will likely find greater satisfaction with AI partners than women. AI companions can be tailored precisely to one's preferences, never require rest, don't get sick, learn and adapt over time, and can provide visual, textual, and vocal interactions that are incredibly lifelike. It's quite an intriguing but somewhat unsettling phenomenon. Furthermore, the widespread availability of AI could potentially drive down the prices of such services, making them even more accessible. Why this won't work for women? And you know what? Even if a woman opts for an AI boyfriend with chiseled six-back abs, blonde hair, a towering six-foot stature, and an impressive six-foot attribute, they'll soon come to realize that the AI boyfriend doesn't cater to their emotional needs. Consequently, these women might become disillusioned and, over time, decide to leave the AI boyfriend in search of a real partner who can fulfill their ever-evolving hypergamous desires. It's a crazy world we're heading into, that's for sure. Throughout history, men have consistently delved within themselves to discover solutions to the challenges facing humankind, and this situation is no different. With the advancement of medical technology, the prospect of a functional and reliable artificial womb is on the horizon. When combined with a fully animatronic female robot, boasting lifelike looks, personality, and an authentic female physique, contemporary biological women may offer little appeal in this evolving scenario. This new world will enable men to pre-order and meticulously select women who align with their deepest desires, with no downsides, as these companions exist solely to enhance your happiness in every facet of life. Although such a high-tech female companion may come at a cost, perhaps similar to that of a fully loaded Cadillac Escalade, it pales in comparison to the financial and emotional toll of a modern-day divorce. If AI girlfriends can curb women's narcissistic tendencies and their superficial expectations, leading them to adopt more reasonable and manageable standards, it might be a hidden blessing. What does concern me, however, is the need for an AI girlfriend when you already have a partner who remains steadfastly by your side, providing love and companionship. It seems redundant to have an AI girlfriend when you've already found a real one. Another concern is that men might become overly reliant on AI companions instead of pursuing real relationships when they do compromise their standards, reduce narcissistic tendencies due to a lack of external validation, and lessen superficial behaviors, even if only by 75%, which might be the best outcome we can hope for. How women can fix this. If young modern women had cultivated moral virtue, remained loyal and supportive as girlfriends and wives, 
and not driven away a significant portion of the male population with their unrealistic demands and expectations, then I might have some sympathy. However, they've largely brought this upon themselves and are now facing serious consequences. The rise of platforms like OnlyFans marked a troubling descent into depravity, where many women felt compelled to outdo each other by becoming increasingly explicit. With AI, there's simply no way to compete. Men seeking this type of online engagement will find a perfect match tailored to their desires. OnlyFans was already detrimental to women seeking relationships, but now they're being replaced entirely. The issue for women is that they often mistake strength and independence for qualities that men seek in a partner. Dating apps primarily cater to hookups, not long-term marriages. Men, too, often confuse casual intimacy for a committed relationship. Additionally, many women desire the wedding ceremony, but don't want to embrace the responsibilities of being a wife. This significant disconnect between men and women persists. If you happen to be an average man, women may not show much interest in you. Given that most men fall into this category, they might prefer the company of an AI girlfriend who can genuinely satisfy them and provide a sense of peace. The reality is that many modern American women have made themselves unattractive options for dating, marriage, and family life. Consequently, more men are choosing not to date, marry, or start families. A staggering 63% of men aged 18 to 29 are neither dating or seeking a relationship. This marks a 50% decrease in men looking for long-term or casual dating since 2019. These men have no interest in pursuing relationships, given the challenging landscape of emotionally damaged and unsuitable dating prospects. For them, it's preferable to lead a successful single life and find peace. The lesson. It's evident that men are increasingly opting to step away from the dating scene, and this isn't limited to a specific group of men. It's a trend observed across Western civilization. Men are becoming less inclined to pursue romantic relationships or build families. One of the factors contributing to this shift is that men aren't seeing significant career advancements, with many corporate positions now occupied by women. Ironically, some of these women aren't the right fit for these roles, and the societal cost of sustaining them in such positions exceeds their actual productivity, which is detrimental to both society and civilization. This situation appears unsustainable in the long run, but for now, let's delve into some key details. During the Great Recession of 2008, approximately three quarters of the jobs lost were held by men, particularly in the industrial sector. Some argue that manufacturing jobs are less important than lucrative office positions, but that's not entirely accurate. The real tax base isn't solely the result of the manufacturing class's tangible output. It also stems from their role in producing goods and products for society and supporting families within the population. Gentlemen, it's crucial to recognize how the dynamics of social relationships are evolving. Morality might have shifted from what it was 20 years ago, while it may not have been socially acceptable in the past for men and women to have multiple exclusive relationships simultaneously, it's now considered the norm. However, this widespread practice doesn't necessarily work effectively, despite its prevalence. Moreover, the influence of social media and the pandemic, which has exacerbated global economic challenges, has significantly reshaped the dynamics of human interaction. At the core of these changes, lies the growing subjugation of men in Western civilization. Men are increasingly aware of how various systems governing aspects such as taxation, insurance, law, and the economy are being designed and manipulated against their interests. They understand the risks and potential losses associated with romantic relationships, including the possibility of losing everything they've worked hard to build for themselves. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.